Gaming. My name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out these guys. Uh, the GT Designer and GT Simulator is how to pretty much marry these guys up and also we're going to go through how to set up your start your first project on your GT Designer and how to marry all these three up so they work pretty much in a simulation mode where you can pretty much can simulate without uh, simulate your uh, programs uh, without pretty much having a actual uh, hardware so uh, that's pretty much that's the main goal so, so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna start a project on a GT designer and as a lot of you maybe will be uh, starting out into this uh, we're gonna be using a very basic screen for it and that screen is pretty much is is very good entry level it is uh, it's a uh, yeah I'll show you actually this one in here uh, this is where you select what series you're gonna be using pretty straightforward this is where you can need to select what model you're going to be using so uh, what model groups you're going to be using this is a sort of here it's just like entry level i oh, got uh, screens these are very good screens you can do so many things with them and in there and, uh, and it the cost is roughly about a uh, 200 quid here in uk i'm not sure where uh, how much is in your world part of the world if you're watching it so uh, we're going to be uh, choosing this entry level and a fantastic way to start and then from there on it's just forward this is where you select the manufacturer of your controller Ours going to be a whichever controller you're going to be using. You can see this is a list of them you can use it with. And then obviously then you can select the actual models. So we're going to be FX. FX series. All FX PLCs will be under FX series. And here, how you're going to be communicating, again, depending uh, of your controller, we're going to be using a side uh, plug, which is RS485 uh, uh, or 422, can't remember. Uh, one of them and uh, from then on obviously the communications driver there's only uh, that fx and from there on it does that uh, we leave this one as it is and in here you can select uh, how you want your programming background look like we're going to be looking black and and uh, yeah, that's all pretty much that is it and this is what they say now uh, they have introduced this uh, background coloring so you can choose uh, the colors for this particular screen you can choose how your ba uh, background looks and obviously for us it's not going to change much so we're not going to use any of this this is something let's say don't show it again so from now on once you start it up so our, our primary goal is to uh, get the GT uh, uh, simulator going so first thing we're going to create a button and that button we're going to like a, like a so and then the we're going to name that button as M1 M1 and we're also going to action it to a alternate basically on and off. I will possibly in the future start running a GT Designer a, a tutorials as I progress myself. I'm not a big uh, user of GT Designer. I just usually just uh, put programs in, put programs out and add a little bit there and a little bit there. But uh, I'm definitely quite keen to start really um, uh, progressing, uh, having to learn what else we can do with it. So M1. You know, basically, this is the uh, bit device uh, where you are going to be able to, uh, where he's going to be sending a signal to the uh, to the uh, PLC, saying that this is when I click that, I'm requesting M1 to go on or off. So this is pretty much what he's going to be doing down there. So uh, that's how you assign a bit. So for that, we need to sign up, uh, start up GXbox2 or GXbox3, whichever you're using. So from there on, we are going to be creating a quickly a program as well, FX3, thank you very much. So we're going to create a program, M1, remember, our on bit went on our screen was M1, so that's what we're doing. And we're just going to activate M2, oop, not that one, this one, M2. So uh, for that one, that's and that is pretty much uh, for that for a test and trial, just to get you guys going how to that works. Uh, that should be enough and once you've done this you put your uh, uh, GX uh, GX works 2 into simulation mode this guy in here so this is very crucial to make sure that is in simulation mode for uh, the system uh, to work and once you've done that just narrow it down for now and uh, the next thing is we need to set up our a uh, uh, GT simulator as well 
and to do that and before we actually start and i completely uh, keep forgetting uh, one thing guys these are softwares yeah these are gt design gt simulator gx works gx works tree and rf and configurating things like that. that all comes part of the iq2 package or iq1 package and things like that and you can get iq2 package uh but quite significantly a lot cheaper than you buy these softwares individuals like if you go online and have a look at the gx works or gx works 3 they are going on about 800 all the way to about 1200 pounds here in, in uk individually i don't understand how, what, how that really works because you can really get all these softwares as one package for about a thousand pounds roughly depending which country is so some countries even for about six or seven hundred pounds uh the whole package with all the softwares in it so uh so yeah do check out iq works uh software because that is going to give you pretty much everything and i will leave the link in the description below where i have already done a video for it so you can have a look so look at it what you are getting uh, uh for iq works 2 package and uh what is pretty much involved in it and why you should be getting it so uh do check out that video uh, below so uh other than that let's continue so the next thing we need to do is set up our gx uh, uh, simulator and here there's a couple of ways to do it so actually we're going to start first no, we're going to start with this one first and in here this guy in here is he's got uh, all these gx simulators in here and so each one of these is gx simulator and there's one thing i don't get it if you look in here it says GT simulator in here, and it says GX simulator in here, which is odd, but uh, fair enough. I'll do. So in here, so you wish that I could not find uh, the list of which simulator works with which screens. So that would be a very good thing to do. And if you guys, any of you find it out, do let me, uh, let know uh, in the comments below for everyone to have a look. So uh, I found that my this screen it does not work on GX Simulator 3. It works on GX Simulator 2. So yeah, so if your screen is thrown up error, it says uh, something is not right. So then it's something it could most likely will be something to do with this. So so I haven't done that. So I selected my GX Simulator 2. Actually, I'm going to show you what happens when you try to start it up in GX simulator 3 so let's start up as you can see it says here plc type of gt simulator 3 is different from the setting of the project so new so which means we're not going to be able to start so that's pretty much that's what's going to be uh, jumping on your screen if by any chance you have uh, that setting so we have changed that the gx works at 2 and there we go Ooh. oh there's one thing we need to start before we can I must have turned that off somehow. There we go. We need to always make sure that this guy is always in simulation mode, otherwise he will not start. So there we go, we got that in simulation mode. Let's close that down and let's start up again. So once you this way, you as you if you uh, just look at that. If you are already in a GX designer and click this button, he will choose this project as a default. So let's say you don't want to start the GX uh, GT designer no uh, or GT designer yeah you want it is uh, let's close this one down you just uh, yes let's just save that in there uh, you just want to uh, uh, just load up your uh, screen project and uh, test the test a bit or whatever you want to test and things like that so you can do that straight from GT the simulator you don't have to start up the GX the, the GT designer so in here you select what uh, series obviously you're gonna be using and obviously what uh, GT simulator you're gonna be uh, like uh, what, you, what screen you group you're gonna be simulating so click and start Archer 21 and from there on going in your files this also you have to have a project which you by default you would have and in here you just uh, select what screen you are going to be on a monitor and it goes straight into it this way without gt designer starting so that's pretty much another way how you can do it and from there on it's pretty much that's it you're done now these two if no errors popped up these two are married up as you can see i can turn a bit on and i can turn a bit on and you can see even even that i simulates the sounds of an actual screen your actual set of screen and anything you're going to change for the screen it will emulate that and here we go and that is it ladies and gentlemen this is how you marry up both softwares to simulate as 
you potentially would have the actual hardware and that's a great way to get your product starting without uh, actually going and uh, sending projects in and out in and out from uh, 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 from computer to your actual hardware so that is it ladies and gentlemen if you like that video do uh, smash that like subscribe below and let me know in a uh, description below if you want to see a GD designer uh, so projects being built and tested because I have all sorts of uh, uh, ideas that I'm going to be building for other people other customers so if you let me know in the comments below if you want to see these projects being built on a uh, live so you can see and how it's done and obviously i'm not a great expert in a gt designer i am going uh, i have a manual in there which i progress through myself understand which how thing each things works and i'll be quite happy to share with you guys how far i progress if you wish on that ladies and gentlemen uh thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video